What's happening everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So for today's video guys, we got a 2020 F-150 truck on the dyno. Now this is a really hot truck guys because it's got a 3.5 EcoBoost in it. Uh, the engine's completely stock, nothing's been changed. It's on the dyno today for tuning. Uh, all we're gonna do is put a tune in it. So um, tuning by James is here. Uh, he's in the truck right now doing some preliminary work. Uh, we're gonna tune the truck to see how much we can get. Uh, we're gonna do some baselines with it. And then we're gonna step up on the tune to see how much power we can make with this 3.5 EcoBoost uh, in this F-150 truck. So enough talking, let's get into the video. pretty much doing here today is setting up a tune for this 2020 F-150 3.5 EcoBoost. It's very similar to what's in the Raptor, but not exactly identical. And even though we can get very similar power numbers, we're trying not to get too aggressive with this one because the, the customer does use it for work. He does tow with it. Um, so we're going to set him up with something nice, good, powerful, and we're probably going to set him up with something a little less aggressive for when he's towing really heavy stuff. Um, but I mean, that's the that's the whole point. Get it nice, a, a significant power improvement over stock. It still needs to be safe. Still needs to be drivable. Run on 93 octane, and it'll be uh, it'll be good, safe, reliable vehicle for him. And okay, excellent gains. Okay, so our baseline with the F-150 uh, was 306 horsepower and 369 pound-feet of torque. Uh, I was just informed that uh, the owner brought the car in on 89 octane fuel, so our first poles are basically going to be on the 89, and then we're going to probably have to go out and get some 93 and get a little bit more octane in it because uh, really to tune it on 89 doesn't really make a heck of a lot of sense. Uh, you want to get as much octane as you can into it, tune it, and then go from there. So. Uh, 306 and uh, uh, 369 pound-feet of torque isn't bad, but there's still a lot more in this truck. All right, so we just talked to the customer. Um, I confirmed with the data log on the baseline pulls. The truck, the OAR, is only learning 88.9 octane. I talked to the customer. He's going to come down here with another vehicle that we can, uh, we can pump this gas out of this truck into something else. We'll run down and get some fresh premium fuel. And then we will start tuning it. All right, sounds good. I can't see the point in dynamoing the car with 89 octane gas in it. Well, yeah, I mean, once you start tuning it, from the factory, they're tuned to run on 87 octane, but it's a turbocharged vehicle. Yeah. So the difference between 87 and 93 octane is just ridiculous. There's yeah. no point running an eco boost on anything less than 93 octane, especially if it's tuned. Okay, excellent. All right, so you can see to drain this thing, uh, we got a, a fitting in the fuel line there, and uh, it's kind of tapped into the fuel system. There's the hose that's uh, that's flowing fuel out, and down below, 
we're draining into this uh, into the pail or into the uh, the gas can and uh, there's about 20 gallons of fuel in this thing so we got that gas can we got that one and then uh, we also got a couple of more but uh, you never know you know when it comes to tuning you have you never know what you're gonna run into and uh, this shop is equipped to do all this stuff I'm gonna drain all of this 89 octane out and uh, fill it with 93 all right so we drained all the 89 octane fuel out of the truck uh, we filled it with 93 we got a new calibration in the truck now let's do some pulls Short pull, 399, 482. All right, so our baseline was about 310. Am I, am I reading that right? Yeah, well, baseline was about 312, 310, yeah. Okay. And then that was the tune in at number three, it was 399, 482. Wow, yeah, that's a big increase. You really see that? Highlighted. Right? It's a shorter pull. It started higher in the rev range. Yeah. Um, and, and stopped it sooner. Okay. But, yeah, uh, he's, he's probably, I mean, this is this is the first revision, really. Yeah. And uh, we had to get the 93 octane fuel up to the injectors, too. Standard, standard corrections, building five. And uh, the pretty big increase right there on the first revision, 400 horse and green wheels. Albeit, it came uh, just a little bit over 5,000 RPM. Actually, that's, yeah, that's engine speed, RPM. Yeah. 399. All right, we're gonna let it cool down and do some more revisions and see what we can get out of this thing. She's looking good. All right, so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna get in the truck. I just flashed a file. We did a baseline pull. I'm gonna do a couple of sweeps here because what happens is every time we reflash these trucks, it resets the uh, learned octane value. So before we get full power, I've got to actually do a couple of sweeps with the pedal to actually get it to learn the octane back up. All right, so just looking at these dyno poles, you can see the blue lines. That was the baseline pole with 89 octane fuel in it. And the red and the green are poles that we did with our initial calibrations, really. Uh, there's still a lot of work to do. And uh, she made considerably more power than the baseline pole. But you can see in here, uh, this thing is still pulling a ton of timing up top. Uh, we suspect that uh, we didn't get 93 octane all the way up to the injectors, you know into the high pressure fuel pump and stuff like that. So it might take a few more pulls to get that to clear up. And uh, we could also do some tweaks to the calibration to clean that up. That's an area right there where she's still pulling a lot of timing. Okay, after a couple of revisions, 389 horsepower actually isn't really all that bad, uh, but still uh, timing is being pulled. Uh, we're not really sure if we got all the 93 octane gas up to the injectors. So. We're going to let the truck cool down, and then uh, James has done some revisions to the tune, and then we're going to do another pull and see what we got. Okay, so uh, that was run file five. Okay, that we just watched. Uh, picked up some power there. Uh, 410 horsepower. Okay, and uh, 468 pound feet of torque. Uh, torque is not much different than run file four, but the, uh, the horsepower picked up. And uh, it's looking a little bit better up top, really. Uh, you see we had this big dip over here but now she's kind of flat and uh looks like it's running a little bit better uh, probably didn't pull as much timing 
we'll check with James and see what he has to say about this one. But we picked up 410 horsepower at this point. All right, guys, so we made 410 horsepower to the rear wheels with this truck on the last revision. Not bad, actually. I think that that's pretty good. Uh, but at this point, we're reaching the limitations of the fuel. This truck came in with 89 octane in the tank. We had to drain it all out. Uh, we added about 15 gallons of 93 to the tank, but there was still a little bit of 89 in the tank. You really can't get it all out. And at this point, we're starting to see that we're reaching the limitations of the fuel. Uh, really, what we're going to do at this point uh, is we're going to let it cool down and uh, do a couple more pulls, maybe a few more revisions to get more power out of it. I think there's more in it, and I think James is, uh, is going to be able to get more out of it. So we're going to let it cool down and see if we can get more power out of it. So, we actually made less power. The uh, one, file six, one file six, the green one, still, we're choppy. Uh, looks like above 5,500 RPM. She gets real choppy and uh, doesn't seem to be making power. All right, guys, we had no choice. Uh, we had to go out and get 15 gallons of 93 octane gas and add it to the tank. Uh, we just couldn't put any timing into the tune and uh, we were just making less and less power as the engine got hot, it just got worse and worse. So we got another 15 gallons of 93 in a tank that should raise the octane. And uh, now maybe we can get some more power out of this because really 410 horsepower isn't bad, but uh, honestly, uh, I think there's more in it. All we had to do was give it more octane. Uh, so now we're going to let this uh, thing cool down. James is going to revise the tune again, all right, because we've, we've been here for several hours already. It's getting late, you know, it's getting late at night now. I mean, we, got, we started this, uh, this dyno session somewhere around 11 o'clock this morning, and uh, it's, it's been a little bit rough because we didn't have the right fuel in the truck. But uh, we got another 15 gallons of 93 in it. Uh, we're going to revise the tune, see if we can make more power. Okay, now we're starting to see the difference. Uh, we got a little bit more octane in the fuel and uh, she picked up the 411 horsepower and 387 pound-feet of torque. Uh, we definitely had problems with the octane and uh, things should start to get a little bit better now. Uh, we gotta smooth out a few things, but at least we're moving in the right direction. Twenty-six, yep. five oh seven. Now we're talking. You see the difference that a little octane made? We didn't change the tune. We didn't do anything. We just got better gas in it. Four hundred, almost four hundred twenty-seven horsepower, and five hundred and seven pound-feet of torque. It was about uh, five hundred, uh, five hundred and forty horse at the crank. Oh uh, yeah. Bunch of torque. Yeah. Five oh seven point seven four divided by point seventy-eight for about a twenty-two percent, six hundred fifty pounds of torque. Right, and it, it 650.94, almost 651. It's a little choppy up here. Maybe maybe that could be smoothed out yeah. a little bit. But uh, she made good power. It took all day to get us here. Uh, just goes to show you the value of having the right octane fuel in the truck. And uh, like I say, it's only 93 octane. And uh, we're making some good power now. Maybe we could get some more. 
All right, guys, pretty successful tuning session with this F-150 truck. Uh, this 3.5 EcoBoost has a lot of potential. Uh, in the case here tonight, uh, tuning by James did the tuning on this truck. We picked up 120 horsepower over uh, the stock baseline and 138 pound-feet of torque. Uh, torque being very significant for this truck because this owner is gonna be using this truck for towing. And uh, we gave him the tune that he wanted. Uh, he wanted the torque down low, the tune delivered it, and it's looking really good. Um, it also goes to show you how important the octane is. Uh, we had uh, a mixture of 89 octane and 93 octane in this thing. Uh, we thought that it might be enough, but it definitely wasn't. We had to add a lot more 93 to get the octane that we needed uh, so that we could put the timing in the tune and get the power. But it worked out really good, and I think uh, a situation like this is good for anybody who has one of these trucks. Uh, if you've got an F, uh, F-150 truck and uh, it's got a 3.5 EcoBoost and or even a 2.7, uh, simple tuning can pick up a lot of power on pump gas. So uh, anyway, guys, uh, it's getting late. I got to get going. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button, and we'll see you in the next one.